Now recently I was just surfing onto the internet about the PCB etching techniques and I didn't find any good tutorials which actually gave me the perfect information about the etching process. Also I checked on YouTube to find some information on the topic and I was also disappointed there. So I decided to make my own tutorial on this and tell you some secrets no one tells you to get a perfect etch on the clad. Now we create videos on such amazing topics and explain them correctly with the perfect tricks to help you guarantee success. So to be a part of us, click on the subscribe button and hit on the bell icon to get the latest updates. Now firstly, take a copper clad board which you can buy at any common electric shop. Well, if you do want to know the secret of cutting the PCB like an extreme pro PCB maker, then be sure to watch the video in the i button above. Also, the video is available in the description below. Now, the copper on the board is actually oxidized. So, what you need to do is just grab a metal dishwasher please and then take the copper clad board and start rubbing against the copper surface. This process is done to make sure the oxidized layer is being removed which in turn helps lot to stick our print on the board. Make sure the copper part of the board is as shiny as shown in the video. Then what you need to do is grab a PCB print from any website as per choice. There are many websites like Easy EDA and lot. Print it on a glossy paper which you can again buy from a local bookstore. I guess for 5 rupees. Then align it on the copper board on the copper side up and stick it with a tape so as to stop it from moving. Then place an iron on top of the paper side. Now here's the trick. Place the iron and put some weight on it. Look, this is the most important step in the process of printing. So, make sure you do it properly without moving the paper. Put some weight of about 10 kg on it and keep it for about 9 minutes for a perfect print. Also, keep the iron with a break of every 3 minutes so as not to destroy the paper as well as the iron. Then, keep the board out for a minute and then place it in a dish with water. Keep it for about 15 minutes. And now it's time to separate the paper from the board. Use your fingers to separate the paper. Gently apply some pressure, but not much so as to remove the print off. Then make sure you have got the perfect PCB out. If not, don't worry, no one gets it perfect for the first time. So if you get it perfect, then it's no worry. But if you get it imperfect like this circuit, then here's what you need to do. Just grab a permanent CD marker from a local book depot and draw on the path that you want on your circuit. Well, the difficult part is now over and now just take the half teaspoon of ferric chloride which again is easily available around then take some water just to cover the surface of the PCB board mix them together and then immediately place your PCB inside and here's another important step what you need to do now is move the container as shown this step is a lot more important than you think it is and it is because this process leads to the faster dissolution of copper board into the chloride and not destroying the print. So you make sure you perform this and as you perform this check if you have got perfect PCB circuit by putting a light source below the board and check if the light passes through the rest of the board leaving the path of the circuit. Once this is reached, congratulations, you have done it. Now just take a thinner or a petrol or grab a piece of dishwasher again and start rubbing on the surface of the itched part. And there you go. You start seeing the golden area on there. That's it folks. Your PCB itch is now completed. Liked it? If you enjoyed the process then please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more such awesome videos. Thank you for watching and see you around.